All right, hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you uh, the, the teams that I used on floors 48, 49, and 50. Now, these uh, 48 and 49 are different than what I used on my first run when I first climbed up to uh, 50, um, uh, because I think it's a little bit more efficient. When I first did it, uh, I was kind of scrapping for teams. Um, so just keep that in mind that it's not, you'll see the point totals being a little bit different because I've completed it at different junction points, but at the end of the day, they still work. So uh, let's get started. All right, so first up is floor 48. Initially, when I did this on my first run, I did use the Eternals, Vol, Doom, and Omega Red. So fairly a cheap option if you have that against you, but it is fairly RNG dependent because you have to rely on Doom getting triggered and hopefully yours may not be able to survive as mine is a three diamond. Um, but here, uh, uh, I found Cabal plus Kang and uh, Morgan Le Fay to be quite uh, effective on this. It was fairly easy. Obviously Kang's doing that cluster on the right over there because I was a little worried about not only, uh, I was worried about rescue. Uh, you don't want her to get going and obviously Ball is a, a big concern. Um, but once you are able to get uh, Iron Patriot special off, it's pretty much over. Now keep in mind, there is RNG here as well. You you saw where Vol initially had done her um, her targeting. So, but I mean, obviously she's gonna target. She may target Iron Patriot. In that case, you would have, you know, you'd have Namor ready to go. Um, so, so I don't think it's that RNG dependent. But just keep that in mind that it may not play out exactly the way you see it here because Vol may choose someone else to uh, ability block. But once you get Iron Patriot special off, I mean, it's pretty much rudimentary. Um, I focused in on Vol. Look at that, a five tap there, boom. And uh, even with that, it's the, the match is pretty much over. Uh, they're, they're dead men walking. And then I really like Morgan using Morgan Le Fay with this Cabal, King, uh, Cabal group uh, nowadays, especially with uh, um, Darkhold pretty much out of the meta for quite a while now. At least she has some really good use with this team. Boom, look at that. After that, it's over. And there you go, let's move on to 49. All right, so next up is uh, floor 49. We have uh, Extreme X-Men. And so I wanted to find a stock team that I could use to get through this and um, Extreme X-Men is quite effective. I think I tried Secret Defenders and Dorm and for some reason I got to Dorm at the very end and I couldn't kill him. He just was unkillable. Um, so Extreme X-Men it is. Uh, Stun Morgan, I mean uh, Miss Marvel Hardlight so she can't taunt and we get stuck behind her. I went ahead and focused in on Ghost Rider Robbie so he can't do his business and of course Cyclops gets rid of all the revive once now don't discount a uh, dorm you have to get to him but i wanted to make sure i didn't i didn't get stuck behind any taunts um once he, he dorm will get his special off and it'll start flipping all your stuff and it can be it can be quite problematic uh, especially if you're extreme x-men or weak as heck but um you're gonna see that my team takes quite a beating and remember my my team strength for Extreme, I have three G19s, Forge, Sunspot, and Nightcrawler. Um, and you're gonna see that. I mean, I mean, they're they're less than half health at this point. Uh, so again, just keep that in mind. Now, aside from that, uh, they do have good survivability, so that's why I wasn't really sweating it at this point. And then once Nightcrawler's ultimate gets off, um, um, I think we're in a fairly strong position, but I, this was coming right off of my bout with Secret Defenders in Dorm, so I knew I needed to get rid of Dorm quickly because um, I had already played this game and he just deleted out my entire team by himself. Um, so, so again, there, there goes uh, Ghost Rider Robbie, not, not much of a, a threat because I had controlled him the whole time, and then and there is some RNG here too, like Panda Pool. I've had it where he would revive on his own, <laughs> which is very unlucky, but as you can see, there you go. All right, last but not least, floor 50. And let me say that, uh, yes, you probably will only need, or you can only do this if you have your own Mephisto. Uh, I tried multiple different iterations and got absolutely wiped. 
Um, now here I use uh, cable because I believe this was on my first uh, climb or my first attempt where I had, um, I think I used Kang before, but uh, the cable is only there to make your Mephisto go first. And therefore, once you apply uh, the exposed on air one, then they're not going to be able to get uh, safeguard anymore. Now you can probably try to apply the same principle. Uh, so what I ended up trying to do was try to use, because this is the same principle used in the uh, arena, is to put exposed on them so they can't get safeguard anymore. And then you can flip it. Um, I tried to do it without Mephisto using Old Man Logan, but if, and again, I think I had already used Old Man Logan on my first climb. If, uh, if I had him available, I would have used him because once they can, when, whenever Apocalypse and Mephisto cannot get safeguard anymore, Old Man Logan just tears them apart. And so uh, now the other thing too, is I would tell you when I try to do this without Mephisto, um, you get stuck behind Zombie Juggernaut and Pandable and you can't get through it fast enough because they have safeguard and that's ultimately going to the downfall of, of, a, of a team without Mephisto. Um, but with, with uh, when, if you have your own, I know that only probably relates to maybe 500 people at this point. Um, but uh, at some point, a lot of uh, people are going to start getting uh, the, the gears going to start freeing up and people going to start unlocking Mephistos. And then uh, you can reference this in the future for future satellites uh, before they add floors 51 to 55. But um, at the end of the day, once you're able to put the exposed on them, uh, it's not that big a deal. Uh, the, the combo of Mephisto scroll is stronger than... Mephisto Apocalypse and that's what I've always kind of observed uh, even in, in my arena fights So as you can see uh, once everything is kind of de deleted um, I don't really have much strategy on this. I was pretty much winging it But the once you can get the, the main strategy is get exposed on the mythic characters and it's pretty much You know, it's it's basic there's nothing fancy about it. They can't get speed bars, and, and then you just do your thing. Like I said, this fight's a lot easier if I would have had Omega, I mean, uh, Old Man Logan, but uh, I didn't. So there you go. We just boom, Apocalypse is toast, and then it's uh, it's five on uh, one, and you can just keep on controlling him. Boom. I mean, uh, Mephisto, you know, the reason, main one of the main reasons I say that, um, you know, Old Man Logan is the best character in the game is after Mephisto does his thing, he's kind of not that impactful, but uh, at the end of the day, the damage is done, right? But there you go. All right, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, please consider a like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. I was doing my best to try and find a non-Mephisto solution. I could not do it. Um... I think there was one other combination I was thinking of trying, but because I, I forgot to use uh, Kang uh, to kind of go first, but it didn't really make much of a difference. Um, yeah, any speed bar manipulation doesn't work with your own Mephisto because he gets so much at the very beginning. So, um, but there you go. 